All right, so if you could start by just telling us your name and, and school and school district. Yeah, um, my name is Manakshi Mukherjee and I teach at Davidson Elementary Middle School, which is a part of Detroit Public Schools Community District. Great, and what, what do you teach at Davidson? Um, I teach eighth grade ELA and social studies. Eighth graders, yeah. fun, yeah. <laughs> um, and could you tell us, uh, do, do you have a union affiliation? Yeah, I am a uh, proud member of the Detroit Federation of Teachers. Great. And also, if you could just tell us a little bit before we get started on talking about the, the pandemic with telling us just a little bit about your school, the demographics of your school community. Yeah, um, so Davison is um, located in Bangladesh in Detroit. Um, the student population is a mix of Bangladeshi students. Um, and black students. Um, this is my second year in the district. I worked at charter schools in the city prior to this. Um, and so it's been a really wonderful um, experience working within the public school district in Detroit. Um, I've learned a lot. Um, we have a pretty large staff. Um, we have about, I wanna say um, 60 teachers. Um, when was it that you realized that the COVID-19 pandemic was really going to affect your school and the entire Detroit Public Schools community district? Yeah, um, so I don't know if I can pinpoint a moment. Um, I had actually been on a, um, I was on a full release from my professional duties for the semester. I was doing an organizing fellowship for DFT um, second semester last year. And so I was actually out of the classroom starting in February. Um, and I was traveling to different um, school locations, talking to our members. Um, and so it, it, I think was probably that week when I had been following COVID news. Um, my husband is also a teacher and a lot of my close friends are teachers. And so, um, and it was kind of like, a, no, like we're not, that that's not like, no. And then all of a sudden it was like, Oh yeah, that Thursday night when the calls started rolling in, and it was, it was, um, it was kind of like when you're waiting for a snow day to happen, um, but instead it was like three weeks of no school, um, and so everyone, it wasn't, it wasn't the same like excitement that you get from a snow day. It was kind of like a lingering, um, like unsettling feeling of the unknown. Um, so I don't uh, I'm curious as to for for the last what, two months that it ended up being of the school year. How did that work for you? Were, did you end up reaching out to any of your students or families or were you working with teachers at different schools? And I feel like you might have gotten a really interesting kind of bird's eye view of how things were going for different school communities from, from the position you were in. Yeah, so I actually ended up working both jobs um, once the shutdown happened. Um, I, I was organizing our members and reaching out to staff. And then I was also doing um, my full teaching um, position because it was online. And so I could sit at my computer, I could teach my classes, I could plan for my classes, and then I could also take time um, to reach out to our staff. Um, and so it was, um, it was, yeah, I, I did. I, I, I got to, I, I was able to like, get a temperature check of how folks are feeling around the district. Um, our district it encompasses folks from all walks of life. Um, you have folks who were being incredibly impacted by the shutdown um, and by um, you know, COVID. Um, you had people who were definitely less impacted um, and more removed, um, but still entrenched in the fact that they had to now teach online and that their whole profession was being moved. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and then I also, you know, was keeping in touch with my kids and teaching them um, and the families that we work with um, and hearing how they were being affected by it and trying to support them that way. Yeah, so it was, um, yeah, I, I, I definitely had an interesting position where I was, I was supporting all parts of our district. Um, 